Hello, Vettel121 here, and we are Let's Playing Final Fantasy XII International. And as you can see, uh, I skipped ahead uh, to this part of the map right before the boss because there's really nothing else to show. There's no new enemies. Uh, and also, well, what the hell am I doing here? And uh, also, yeah, the only things you can really find are, let's see here, a Brave Suit. And I found the Renew spell, which is basically like a full cure spell, in case you're wondering. Uh, oh, and the Lordly Robes, that's about it. Otherwise, the enemies, uh, yeah, they're pretty tough through here. Uh, just spam Thundaga spells. It's actually better than uh, Scathe because the attack animation doesn't take fucking forever. Well, anyways, yeah, we're about to take on the boss, and to start this battle, I'm just going to have Ash out in my party, and her gamuts really don't matter. Uh, the gamuts that do matter, however, are Pinellos, like I have ally status reflect with the Scourge spell. I'm going to be using non-elemental spells on this next boss. I have Fran with her little uh, reverse and decoy thing going on, and haste, of course, because, yeah, I'm going to be abusing haste in this battle. Uh, with Vaughn, once once the boss gets like buffs on himself, I want him to uh, use a dispel moat on a, on a his self. I want him to use a Spirit of Low Town uh, to get bravery on himself. So yeah, that that'll be helpful. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, equipment. Yeah, mirror mail with the bubble belt on Vaughn because that should help out for sure. Yeah, it'll be in permanent bubble status. Uh, yeah. Opal ring on Fran, that way she can bypass Reflect. And of course I have the Ruby ring on Pinello so she can also have Reflect. Because yeah, she's going to be casting Scourge. Scourge is basically a non-elemental spell like Bio, except it's stronger. So yeah, I'm going to be using that spell in this next battle. So yeah, let's do it. And yes, this is the ultimate Esper of the game, even though there's still one more to get after this one. This is Zodiark. And this guy starts out with a really cheap, cheap attack called Dartja. doesn't matter if you have uh, Reverse on your characters, it will still bypass Reverse. So before he gets that attack off, I'm just going to go ahead and dispel all his buffs. Because it's just a good idea. And Ash is gonna die. And yeah, Ash is dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring Fran, Vaughn, and Pinello into the party. Oh, yeah, and get rid of Ash. And I have the Holy Spear equipped on Vaughn because Zodiac is weak to Holy. So yeah, that's why I'm not using Ash for this battle because Vaughn can deal more damage with his spear than uh, Ash can with the Blood Sword. And there he goes with that Greater Barrier bullshit. Uh, this guy can use Paling abilities that nullify magic and physical attacks, which are, of course, extremely annoying. But, you know, what are you gonna do? And it's annoying when he uses attacks that Come on, man. It's annoying when he uses attacks on other characters, even though lure is in place. That's just really, really irritating. Come on, get the freaking spell off already. Okay, yeah, this guy is annoying. No, I don't want to go to licenses. Okay, full highest. Yeah, when he uses, uh, friggin' that magic paling ability, I just want to use Knot of Rusts on him until it wears off. It's 
surprised I didn't hit Pinello. Yeah, not a rush actually, uh, well, they don't deal that much damage, but it's better than nothing. Now, when he uses Darcha after the first one, reverse does work. I don't know why that is, that's freaking retarded, but, oh, come on, man, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Bullshit. Oh shit, he's berserk. I can't use him. Oh shit, man. Yeah, as you can see, guns don't deal that good damage against this guy. In fact, the damage is pretty, pretty horrible. Pretty members of fun. Fuck you. Come on, Fran. Get him going here. That reminds me. Oh, I never did do a gambit for that, did I? That's annoying. sake man see what I'm talking about this guy's a pain in the ass he's probably gonna kill us all again too okay fuck this boss man god Get Bosch out of there. No, what the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, you suck, Bosch. This boss is just fucking annoying. Yeah, that paling finally wore off. Oh. Fuck you! Oh yeah, that's real fair. God. You can't. Yes you can, Pinalo. Yes you can. This guy hits harder than the fucking Hellworm. He really does. Why is there so many pauses in between actions? That's just stupid. Oh, you almost got him here. No, Vaughn's worthless right now, because he won't attack.
Come on. Hurry up and kill him. What is taking so long? Thank you. See what I mean? This boss, I mean, your characters sit there and they're like in limbo forever because this guy's actions somehow take priority over yours. It's bullshit, but there you go. That's Zodiard. The supposed ultimate esper in the game. Yeah, once again, reverse saves the freaking day. Yeah, that spell is uh, pretty overpowered, but I'll take advantage of it. I don't care. They shouldn't have put it in the game then. You obtain the Esper, Zodiac Keeper of the Precepts. Alright. Very nice. And for licenses, I'm going to go ahead and give this Esper here. Let's see, who can we... Oh, come on. Zodiac with Ash. I don't even see it on her board. Oh, right here. Zodiac with Pinello. Nothing. Vaughn, nothing. Balthier. Nothing. Fran. I'll be going over her in a second. Uh, Bosh. Okay, he, if you teach it to Bosh, you can get the Renew spell. I don't care. I don't think that spell's that good. I'd rather have the Dorondal A equipped on Fran. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this Esper to Fran. And now Fran can equip the most powerful one-handed sword in, in the game. So yeah, that's definitely nice. And then once I get a shield for her, a certain special s shield, uh, she'll be even more powerful. So yeah, there you go. Alright, we are now in the Great Crystal, and if, if you remember before, uh, I couldn't actually do anything with this Scorpio Gate Stone, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and touch the device now. And yeah, now it actually works. Yeah, because before it did not work. So what we're going to end up doing here is, I think this is the way we're supposed to go. And, yeah, okay, this is Waystone 9. This is the one we want right here. And there's an enemy in here wandering around or whatever, but apparently he doesn't want to come out to play. So let's just go ahead and use the Waystone. And this Waystone will take us to a very, very confusing and brand new area of the Great Crystal. And, yeah, this place, to say the least, is confusing. And there's only one way to go now, so let's just go. Yeah, as soon as we get Ultima here and some good items and stuff like that in this place, we'll be doing the remainder of the hunts in the game. So, uh, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of these gates here that, uh, we need to open. Okay, this is Waystone 10. I'm going to skip that for now. And hold on a second. Alright, we're actually going to head this way first. If you're confused, I don't blame you. Yeah, there's a lot of forks in the road, so it's pretty easy to get screwed up in this place. It really is. Yeah, and you want to try and kill those guys before they self-destruct. And in this chest we get the Caldera, which I believe is bombs or something like that, or a bomb launcher, but whatever. That's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. In the next episode, we will explore the new area of the Great Crystal. This is Vital121, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>